Hey everybody, it's a 3D printing professor and what's in the box? Well, nothing. Actually, the box is empty. Because it's over here! A big bag of 20 different sample filaments from my friends at Helios and I've been having a lot of fun with it, so let me tell you a little bit about it. Helios contacted me and wanted me to test out their PLA filament. Now they advertise this as PLA filament for those 3D printing pens, but they also point out that yeah, it does work in a 3D printer and could I check it out? So I did. Now these rolls of filament are fairly small. I mean, really they're not printing a whole lot with them, but as, if you have a bunch of small things to print, it's not too bad. What have I been printing with them? Well, I've been printing the mosaic tiles for my supporters who have been backing me on Patreon and on my GoFundMe campaign, which just yesterday broke the 50% mark, which is amazing. So if you are backing me on the GoFundMe campaign or if you have spread it, shared the word, thank you so much. Just, I, I am overwhelmed. I am, I am humbled and awed by the generosity of of you guys who who watch this you you guys are a great community and i'm really happy to be a part of you even just those there have been a lot of people who have reached out to me on the comment section and social media and saying hey we wish we could support but hey it just makes it means the world to me thank you guys you're wonderful we're at the 50 percent mark it's not done yet it needs to get to 100 percent. but i'm amazed we got here so fast it's about three four days we're at the 50 percent mark it's having having me think Maybe I should put some stretch goals in here. Would you guys be okay with that? Let me know in the comments if you'd be okay with me. Maybe maybe putting some stretch goals because there are some additional things I would like to get, like better sound equipment uh, for these recordings. Maybe. But regardless of that, let's talk about the filament. So this is PLA filament. Now, it's really hard to impress me with PLA filament. Honestly, uh, it's, it's like pizza. It's hard to get PLA wrong. And so having PLA that's on spec and easy to print with and flows well and works, it just, that's a given. And so how's this filament perform? It doesn't underperform, that's for sure. It works. It's good filament. Now, I will say that the colors are brilliant. Their white is really white. Their blue is really blue. Their pink is really pink. I keep on using really. Whenever I look at a print that comes off of it, I go, man, that is really good. The colors are fantastic, and the variety of colors that you get are a lot of fun. Even their gray, their gray has this pearlescent quality to it that I, I really enjoy looking at. It almost looks silvery. It makes me want to get more of, of these individual colors. Now, again, it's a small sample. It's not enough for a whole lot. If you do hollow prints or small prints, you'll be okay, but you can't do a big job with these ones. I can get about one, sometimes two uh, tiles per roll from these, so not very big. However, it got me thinking that if I were teaching 3D printing at a after school group or something like that and I wanted my students to have a lot of different colors to choose from these small rolls are perfect especially if I've been training them to do small prints that take no more than an hour to do obviously couldn't do like a whole chess set or a whole chess board but small tiles if you're printing the parts for a game, if you wanted to do Settlers of Catan in 3D download those 3D models this set would be perfect for that because there are a bunch of small tiles and you won't run out of colors before you or ro run out of the color that you need before you get there we've got enough blue to do the necessary water tiles enough gray to do the necessary stone tiles etc so for that sort of job i think that this little sample pack has its place in fact i think that this little sample pack has inspired me for ideas that i could do with other sample packs and i might be picking up another one of these it kind of reminds me uh, I used to be a balloon guy <laughs> in a previous life, and I would buy the individual colors of balloons uh, in large bags, but then I would also buy uh, uh, 
you know, the sample bag of colors whenever I just wanted to have something I could grab and go. And that's, that's kind of what this is in my mind. Instead of having a large shelf of all the different colors that you need that you're not using very fast, why not just have a bunch of little ones? And if you find that you have a need for one particular in a bigger volume, then you get that one particular. I would also say I would love if Helios would let us pick the 20 colors that we could have in here because maybe maybe you want to have a little bit heavier on the greens or a little bit lighter on the whites or pinks well who wants it lighter on the pink right let's get more pink in there um but overall i love it now there is a small i gotta i gotta ding helos just a little bit one of the rolls that came in were completely shattered the the plastic had just broken in several places it was my other roll of blue and it broke in several places and was just worthless and my pink i got part of it right here because it broke in three places and so this small sample became three very small samples and so helios do a little bit better job with your climate control i think you need to uh keep the humidity away and and whatever you need to do to make sure that your filament doesn't get too too fragile and broke as you're going and that's a minor nig overall i'm really happy with this this big bag of lots of different samples it's been great for my backer mosaic which if you are not on the backer mosaic you can get on just back me on patreon or on this gofundme campaign i put your name on a tile up here and of course we're going to go out with a picture of that top. I wanna to thank everybody who supported me and made this possible. I wanna thank Helios for sending me this big bag of filament that you know helped me uh, figure out what I was going to do for this tile. It, it really, it made this project possible. It's really cool. I am ending up with a lot of very short segments, so it's making me think maybe Maybe I should uh, get a filament joiner or make a filament joiner somehow to join all these pieces of filament together and get a rainbow piece that I can make a bigger project with. That'll be pretty cool. That'll be pretty fun. But overall, I'm really happy with Helios' filament. It, it's hard to mess up PLA. They didn't mess up PLA. It's good PLA, which is nothing remarkable. But I like the sample bag. I like having lots of different samples to work with. Just don't plan on doing a big project with them. Anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all that you guys do as well. Just watching my videos is a great help. Heck, if you want to support me and you can't back me any other way, just put a playlist of mine on and let them play in the background while you're doing something else because that helps me out even, silly as it may be. But I shouldn't advocate that. Never mind. Forget that I said that. Just remember, safety first. I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,